before we can move on and learn more about poetry first i wanted to point out a couple of shortcomings of our current setup so let me open up my code editor now just looking at this folder structure can you see what are our dependencies can you tell me are we using django or not or which version of django we are using or not so normally what you would do if you are using pip and your virtual env is you would create something like this so you would say that hey pip i want to freeze all of my dependencies and i want you to pipe the output to a file which is called as requirements.txt so this is the conventional way of doing it now if you see the requirements.txt you can see that we have a lot of requirements which are required for this project so as you can see this is not a very intuitive way of doing it and also there may be cases that some of the requirements are used only for development purposes for example if you are using pytest or mypy or some other dependencies which are used just for a development then we don't need all of those things in our production and we need some kind of a mechanism to differentiate between our development dependencies our testing dependencies and our production dependencies so that's where poetry comes into picture so let's see how we can install poetry you can go to this website pythonpoetry.org and uh, just click on documentation here we have on the left we have installation just click on that so here we can see that there are a lot of different ways of installing poetry on our machine so we want this one with the official installer now just scroll to the bottom and here we can see that we have a couple of options so if you're using linux mac os or windows wsl then you can simply copy all of this or if you're using windows powershell then you can copy this and also they have a small note saying that if you have python installed through the microsoft store then just replace py with python now let me open up my terminal and let me paste it right over here now in my case i already have poetry installed so nothing's going to happen but in your case it will go ahead and install poetry so as you can see i have the latest version 1.3.2 which is already installed so what poetry is going to do is it acts like like your dependency management system so what poetry is going to do is as you can see it's a tool for dependency management and packaging so that means it is going to take care of creating our virtual environment and also of our dependency management so that means we have a single tool of creating our virtual environment and also taking care of all of our dependencies so let me show you poetry in action so let me clear this up now let us create another folder and uh, i am going to call that folder as my site now let me go inside the folder of my site and here i simply want to initialize my poetry so i can say poetry in it so now poetry is going to prompt us for a couple of actions so it is asking us the package name so okay the default is my site the default version description so this is going to be our official django polls app author here you can write your own name and your email and the license is let us keep it blank for now compatible python versions so i want anything which is 3.11 and above so i can use the caret symbol and i can say 3.11 right now we don't want to define any of the dependencies interactively so i'll just write as no same over here as well confirm yes i would like to confirm and now let me clear this up if i do a ls here we can see that we have one file which is called as pyproject.toml now what we can say is we can ask poetry to install python for us so we can simply say hey poetry i want you to add django so what poetry did was it created a virtual environment as you can see over here and this is the path where it has been saved and right now it has installed all of this so this is django and these two are the dependencies of django now let me again clear up my screen now the next thing that we want to do is we simply want to activate our virtual environment 
so we can do that by just typing poetry and shell so here it is we can see that the prompt has changed and right now i am inside my virtual environment the next thing that i would like to do is i would simply like to create a blank django project so again we can say django admin start project my site but here what i want to do is i just want to say that i want to create my project right over here and you can do that by just writing a dot that means i want to unpack the project in my current folder now press enter now let us see the contents of this directory so here we can see that we have multiple files now so this is the poetry log this is the project folder and this is our manage.py file now let me open up this inside my visual studio code so as you can see we have a directory structure in place if i click over here we have all of the required files and this is our toml file so this is required by poetry so here clearly you can see that we have two dependencies so first dependency is our python and the second dependency is django and this poetry.log file is automatically created by poetry to lock in all of the python versions and all of the dependency versions which are required by our project now let us check if visual studio code is using the right virtual environment or not so i have just opened up my bottom bar over here and uh, if i click on any of the python files it will show you the python interpreter that it is using so right now it is using the default python installation but i don't want this i want to use the path of my virtual environment so what you can do is you can see over here we have this path right over here so either you can uh, copy till here so this is the path where your virtual environment has been installed or visual studio code will give you a couple of prompts so this is what i want to use so this is my site so let me just choose this interpreter now you can see that visual studio code is using the right virtual environment now let me hide the bottom bar i don't require that next let us run the django installation and see if it is working or not so here i can say that django manage.py run server so here we have the usual warnings and uh, this is the url so what you can do is either you can copy and paste this url in the browser or on a mac i can simply press the command key and i can simply click on the link so here you can see that we have a working django installation well we are not done with our setup since you are learning django with me we can do a much better job let me go back to my terminal and let me stop the server so here it is saying that if you want to quit the server you can simply press ctrl and c so i have stopped the server let me clear up my terminal now what i want to do is i want to install a couple of dependencies just for our local development so i can say that hey poetry i want you to add but i want you to add all of these dependencies just for my development so here you can say that we have a group called as development and after this we can specify our dependencies the first thing which i want is the django stubs so with this django stubs we can start using mypy and type hinting inside our django project next obviously we require mypy then a couple of more optional dependencies so i normally like to use isort for sorting all of my imports then i like to use black for my formatting and i also like to use ipython for my default python shell so ipython and just press enter so you can see that poetry is installing all of our dependencies now if i go back to my code editor and if i click on pyproject.toml here you can see that poetry has added one section for our development dependencies and all of this are our development dependencies now the last thing to do in this video is we simply want to set up our django stubs and mypy so that it can start type hinting inside our django application so what you can do is you can simply go to your browser and search for django stubs so here we have the first github link just click on this link let me zoom this up for you 
let us go down and here we are saying that uh, pip install django stubs so we have already done all of these things and the next thing is they are showing how to configure your django stubs so here you can see that if we are using pyproject.toml so this is the file for poetry let me open up my code editor again so this is as you can see we have a pi project and this is the default file used by poetry so if you are using pyproject.toml then you can configure in this manner so let me copy this let us go back to our pyproject.toml file let me scroll to the bottom let me paste right over here now we need to do one final change and that is for this one the django settings module myproject.settings now in our case we have named our project as my site so this should be my site and not as my project just save it and that's it we are done with our setup